Hi guys, Retro Django here. I want to share another epic moment with you guys. I got myself a Commodore 128 with cassette and with a, um, a disk drive. This is the first time ever I have owned a Commodore uh, 64 slash 128 disk drive. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to share this moment with you. Um, first time ever I have ever uh, had a Commodore 128. Um, I have uh, not even seen one of these back in the day. Only one of my friends had it. Uh, I never visited him, but he always told that uh, it was uh, twice as nice as our Commodore 64s. But every time he borrowed games from us, he couldn't play them, so he hated this. <laughs> he hated. He hated this one. Uh, this one I'm very familiar with. Well, for 25 years ago. Um, well, let's turn this baby on. Yeah, it works. Um, last week I dis disassembled this and um, it got cleaned. Keyboard got cleaned, top, lower side, everything got cleaned. And I cleaned all the uh, old... Um, uh, the thing in between the, uh, I don't know what's it called, um, creamy stuff that they use on, on the chips, you know. Um, <clears throat> I cleaned all that and gave it uh, all new uh, silver-like thingy so uh, it can get the super connection and, and get cooled uh, properly down. This one didn't work, so after a couple of insertions, then uh, it, the power on light began working again. But other than that, um, yeah, first time ever owning this machine. It looks, the cabinet looks like an Amiga 500, a uh, sleek design. I really, really like the design of this. I mean, uh, I mean, the Commodore 64C is much more appealing for me um, than the original design, but th this is just, this is, I mean, look at this. Back in 1985, it's just, it's nice. So, uh, it works fine. Uh, first time ever, I have never <laughs> played with one of these. Um, first time I, uh, Plug the cassette drive. I don't even know if it works. I got these tapes. I don't know if they works. Only one thing I found out is that uh, I've watched another uh, other videos on YouTube, uh, and I saw you have you can write um, go sixty four. And then you have. Are you sure? I guess. And then you. Have Yes, I'm sure. And then you have a Commodore 64. Um, that that's really nice. I, I didn't know that. It's something I I learned recently. So let's try some of these games. I mean, uh, Mega Nova the Weapon. Um, <laughs> I don't know this. Screen pictures maybe. A different version, yeah, just like when you order a burger at McDonald's. I mean, <laughs> the ones that the pictures are so nice, but the, the burger you get is just, yeah. Oh my god, this is epic, man. It's just so many years ago. Recorded on both sides. Okay, we take another tape because that will take uh, all night long. Okay. This one is called Chiller for Commodore 64. All right. So nothing that says side A or B. Let's just try this side. I mean, uh, if you're old enough, you know the left side is where the tape is ready. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Um, 
There we go. Oh, we had a counter here also. So if, when we copied all these games, we could, uh, if I should play Genesis, this I have, uh, then I have to fast forward to number 233 and then uh, load the ABC Turbo and then play, be able to play Genesis. This. Oh man, back in the days. All right, uh, cassette tape I'm familiar with, you just have to write low. The only thing is, uh, and it says press play and tape. The only thing I'm concerned about is, as you can see here, the little hole here, uh, when we played different tape uh, games, we had to adjust the, the head, uh, because if it's not adjusted properly, the game won't work. And us usually uh, it should have some, some lines with different colors, and this is just, I mean, nothing happens. So I think I had to uh, adjust the head. <laughs> oh, it just is ready. Yeah, that's because it, it, it couldn't read. Uh, it has to be adjusted. Um, that's normal. All right, other than that, we have Slayer. I mean, these cassettes, they're just, it's just awesome, you know, they got, uh, I mean, look at this, chiller. The aim of the game. It is a dark, still night. The full moon is shining early and the atmosphere is electric. Your heart beats quickly. You are the jackal and you are metamorphosing into a werewolf. All right, uh, you howl at the moon and she fills you with immortal power. You know your task and you will be loyal to the goals of the Death Valley. Your aim is to rescue your girlfriend and, and that figures, who fled in terror into a house of the undead. Can you save her before the demon of, demons of hell get to her? Alright! Well, guys, that's the aim of the game. I mean, this is it's, it's just epic for me because I, I lived uh, back then when uh, these machines were popular and everybody had them and we, I mean, these games were just, yeah, it was different times. Uh, I must be honest with you, I don't remember one single title, I mean, that's this Cybernoid 2, The Revenge, yep. Um, all right. Don't remember that one either. Uh, slot. Okay. I don't even think I had that many tapes that were original, so uh, I just had copies like everybody else. Brave Star. I think I saw this one as a cartoon. I I'm not sure, but if it is, then I really want to try this game. I love the music if it's the same as the cartoon. Okay, we got Light Force. Yeah. Meme CD. Got Tomcat. Uh, this one? Oh, this looks like a copy. I mean, Racket. Oh, it says Racket here also. Oh, okay. Uh, Zoom Zara. Okay, next one is called Thunderblade, as seen on TV. <laughs> All right, well, I have some games I'm going to try. Oh, this one, Challenger, got more power, that's bummer. Well, this is the shit, ABC Turbo. This means this is a copied cassette and I'm sure that it's, you can see 60 minutes. This one maybe contains 
20 different games, copied games. Well, this is the best cassette ever. Oh, this one should have a reset button also. Uh, here. Yeah, it's got a reset button. So it gets back and... It starts off as Commodore 128 again, but just go 64. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Warlock's Quest. Side A and B. Well, some of the games are maybe real pretty deep adventure games. I don't know. Gauntlet. Oh, I love it. Oh, damn. I love this series. I love Gauntlet. This is Gauntlet 2. The phenomenon continues. <laughs> this, this is just great, man. After so many years, I mean. Kane. Yeah. We got Speed King. I mean, look at this. Commodore 64 and 128. Maybe some of these games can just play on, uh, on this one. Don't know, have to check. But uh, also another thing, fast loader. Could I then use ABC Turbo and load faster? I don't know. Again, racket. It, it, it looks like a copy tip, but it, it is original like this. Uh, what's this? Shockwave Rider. Never heard of it. Well, steel. And an empty one. <laughs> Alright guys, um, this is my uh, new uh, cassette collection. Uh, yeah. Um, it's alright, but in 2018 I'm not really interested in, in playing cassettes. I'm much, much more interested in this one. Uh, the Commodore 1571 disk drive. Um, I've tried it a couple of days ago. I know it works. And uh, I tried it on my Commodore 64, but never ever have I tried it on this one. So I want to share it first time <laughs> with you guys so uh, let's clean all this mess up and turn on the, the drive all right guys as you can see all the tapes are gone and the disk drive is on the light is on i think this uh, 1571 uh, it really matches the commodore 128 you can see the lines up there built-in power supply um, instead of the, the the one that I know is for the Commodore 64 the the brown colored one that's double in size I mean uh, and and it needs an external um, power supply that I really really don't like um, this one is slick in design I mean this is this slim edition I don't know what I should call it but I, I, this is my favorite one, and I, and I remember how expensive they were back in the day. Um, I was a little kid back then, but uh, this one is from 95, uh, 85. I think I sold these for sale still back in 1990 or yeah, about that period. Um, I, disset, I also disassembled this one. Uh, this is in th three parts. Um, I could, the the disk drive it w was all silver, uh, no corrosion, no rust. In I mean, super super nice condition. I, I should it, it, it's never got used. Back here we got uh, under here we got a board with different chips on it, and uh, at the upper side here we got. Um, the power converter unit, the power supply actually, it's up there and it's just clean and uh, uh, looks looks perfect. I mean, 
I think this one will work for many, many, many years to come. So they are both cleaned and uh, yeah, ready to go. But uh, before we do anything, uh, I have got some manuals here and I also got some discs I got. Um, I mean, I, I, I never... I never used this. This is this is first time for me, you know. It's just they were so expensive. I only have tape back in the day, you know. And it's a nice. It's nice to try all this. Some guy called Casper. Disc thirteen. All right. I mean, oh, this is so awesome. And we also got a loading thingy here uh, when, when it loads okay so um, I don't know why but I tried this with my Kono 64 um, and just two minutes ago I tried it with my Kono 128 and believe it or not, uh, I, I, I tried to load, uh, I had uh, Genesis to 3 here. It, the loading time were just so much faster, uh, faster with, with this setup. I, I don't know if it's just something that I just feel like, but yeah, it was just, just faster this way. But uh, uh, I didn't know all the commands. I just, I should, <laughs> I, I, I googled it and the, uh, yeah, two seconds load. Um, I mean, it it sucks to be. I had to write all this, you know. Uh, then then it reads and then you. Just like in dust. No, you you write list. Uh, what's it say? So we got Boulder Dash. Let's try Boulder Dash. You say load. Boulder Dash three and uh, come eight. Yeah, then it loads, and uh, yeah, I've tried the. Uh, I've tried Genesis. This I I have also found that you can turn them around, and lots of lots of more games. We got Outrun here, Tiger Mission, 1942, <laughs> really nice game. Winter, OL, Test Driver. I know this one. I had a friend with an old disk drive and we played Chess Drive 2, I think it was. It's a really nice game. I don't know what's on this. I don't know what's on this. It just says spill and spill which uh, means game. This 20. Oh my god. Summer games. I mean, winter games and summer games. They were just awesome uh, multiplayer games. Look at this. Yeah. World Games, this 22. World Games again. Oh, this is World Games number two. All right. This 27. Ghost Mix, yeah. Uh, Skit on die, all right. Is it ski or die? Um, and then it says, uh, ready and waits on you to write run enter and we got a game here nice Casper we got summer games one summer Sübel, I don't know who dares oh who dares wins two I had that on cassette tape and it was such a nice game. I don't know, Boulder Dash 1, this is number 3. 
Yeah. Tennis. I hate sport games. Bubble. This must be Bubble Bubble and International Karate. Oh, International Karate is just... Yeah, also Bubble Bubble. Best games. Oh, we got two discs in here. That's not good. Why? It's much better when he writes, but he... Defender. I hope this is the Defenders of the Crown. Ugh. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Why does it walk? No, it's a demo. All right. Uh, yeah, that's my disk drive. Well, it's a dumb player. Go down, man. All right. Well, that's a. Um, yeah, look, let, let's look at the menus. I haven't looked at them. Uh, 1530. That just said unit. Nice. Well, how to adjust and, uh, and all that. Uh, yeah, we got that one. And we got a little guide here for the 128. I mean, this is just awesome. Can you just imagine back in 85 having this machine with 128 kilobytes of memory? Oh my, look, look at the design. I mean, I, I really like this design. Uh, it looks like all the expansion ports are... Oh, this is not located on the Commodore 64. RGB eye socket. And here we have the reset switch. All right. Yeah. I mean, look at this motherfucking piece of a book. Oh, this is called Commodore 128 Systemweilerning in Danish. Oh my God. It smells so fucking nice. Who screw with for skelly flower? I mean, all, yeah, they don't do it like this anymore. Today is just a PDF file and that's about it. But yeah, nice. Well, for the Danish collector, I mean, it's cool to have. I mean, uh, it's not something you see every day. And this is, oh, I really love the design. I mean, this one reminds me of Amiga 1000. I mean, Back in 85, you can also buy an Amiga 1000. Why bother and buy this system? Uh, I don't know. Oh, this one needs retro writing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what they were thinking at, at Commodore, you know. Oh my God. Yeah, I think it's the same same book, just in, uh, just in English. We got 128 kilobytes of RAM. And we can upgrade to 256 and 512. Could this machine have 512 kilobytes of memory? <laughs> Just like the Amiga 500? Well, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, that's the manual. Run stop, blah, blah, blah. Big ass manual. <laughs> oh, man. Again. First and last page needs retro writing. Other than that, it's in okay condition. I mean, yeah. Well, that's my Commodore 128 collection, guys. Again, I just, I love the design. It's just, it's just so nice, but, but I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my Commodore 64 because that, that's what I grew up with. I, I don't know this system. Why use this system just for writing Go64 every time? I mean, such a waste. So, um, I will uh, put this, uh, I, I will trade this with something something else. I, I love trading with other Commodore hardware, so this will, uh, all of this will come out on, on sale soon. But I just wanna 
share it with you guys first. Um, yeah, so that's how my Commodore 128 looks. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day. And until next time, I'll be back.